Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're heading out to Redbud today for an open ride, which is super sick. Obviously, Redbud is like the best track in the country, so no better place to test out the new KTM than on a pro national track that we're gonna be racing on this season. So we got both the steeds in there, got the fresh new Adept Creative graphics kit on the KTM. We're gonna be riding both of these bikes today, get a little footage from each one. Can't wait to show you guys what the bike looks like once we get there and take it out of the van. So what do you say we hit the road and get there? We'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, after a nice long three hour drive, we're finally out here at Redbud. Bridget's out there making that bike look super nice. What's up, Bridge? So tracks are finally allowing spectators, but they do have some pretty strict rules on like where they can go around the track. So Bridge is gonna try and get as good of third person footage as she can from where she can stand, but um, it's probably mostly gonna be a lot of GoPro today, which is fine, cause I can just more, more so focus on just dialing in the bike. But yeah, we're obviously gonna ride both the KTM and the Honda today. I'll put up some GoPro from each one, put up a little bit of third person. Um, last night I did throw the cone valve forks on the KTM and I also put some 15 mil bar risers because the stock bar on the KTM is super super low it only has like a 70 something millimeter rise so those spacers are gonna bring it up to a better height for me until I get those extra clamps and pro taper bars here so so I'll go quickly show you guys the adept creative co kit that's on the bike it's looking pretty dang factory pretty sick so we'll go take a look at that and then I'll throw the GoPro on and we'll go break this thing in you she's looking sick can't wait to take her out there we got a sick blue and orange and white FXR kit to match. It's gonna look sick on the KTM, so let's get out there and take it for the first spin. So this first one will be a pretty easy one. Just gonna make sure that the bars and the levers and everything's tight, make sure it's all how I wanna do it. Come back in, put in a pretty solid moto on it, and then I'll take the Honda out for a moto and probably get back on this for one more. And I'll just uh, throw the GoPro on for a couple of them and talk about what I like about it once it's all said and done. So I hope you guys enjoy the following footage. What's up guys? So we're gonna get into the lap time comparison now. Now I'll do a little bit of context so you guys can understand what you're looking at here. I'm putting the lap times up in order of how they happen while I was at the track. So the first lap you're gonna see is from my second session out on the KTM when the track was still pretty smooth and I was able to haul butt pretty good. After that session, I pulled in, waited for maybe like 20 minutes or so before I went back out on the Honda. That's the second lap that you guys are gonna see. Um, the track obviously broke down a little bit. There were a lot of riders there, so it got kind of rough. After that session, to make sure that the track stayed as similar as possible, as soon as I put my Honda on the stand, didn't even take my gloves or goggles off, I just went right from the Honda, pulled the KTM off the stand and went right back onto the track. And then that session will be the third lap time that you guys are seeing. So obviously I took my fastest lap time from each of those sessions, put them up there. I'll put the lap times up so you guys can see. After those lap times play, I'll talk a little bit more about the lap times and what I think of each bike and what they do good and what they do bad and which one I like more. So anyways, I'll stop talking now so you guys can watch those lap times back to back to back and then we'll get into talking about the bikes. So here you go, lap number one on the KTM. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
So there you guys have it. Those are the fastest lap times from each individual session out on the track. So now we get to answer the question, is the KTM 450 faster? And uh, based on this video, it certainly looks like that, but I don't really think that that question can be answered by just one dude taking his lap times from one track. Obviously, certain riders are gonna gel with certain bikes better, certain bikes are gonna be a little bit better on certain tracks. Obviously, you're not gonna take 10 riders and put them on one bike, and they're gonna be the fastest on that at every single track. So for the purpose of this video, I'm strictly talking about Jeff Walker, on Redbud MX on this particular day. Maybe it applies to other riders on other tracks, maybe it doesn't, but I'm strictly talking about my experience and uh, maybe you guys have different experiences from me. One thing I want to address really quick before I carry on with this video, because I know there's gonna be some comments and some people who are like, oh dude, you sandbagged on one bike, like you purposely went slow to make the other bike look faster or whatever. Um, people always drop those comments and I can never understand it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and debunk that really quick. Um, first and foremost, I'm a professional motocross 
motocross racer, my job is to go as fast as I possibly can to get the best results that I can. That's what I care about. That's what sponsors want to see. I want to go as fast as possible. It does not make sense for me to rig any of these and purposely go slower on one bike or one setup, no matter what the circumstances are. Even if a company gave me a part for free to put on my bike and I went out and tested it and I was slower on it, I wouldn't lie about it and purposely rig the results so that it looks like I go faster and then continue to use that product when I know that I'm slower with it. The same applies for getting this KTM. If I went out there and I was two seconds lap slower on the KTM, I wouldn't lie to you guys about it and then continue to race the KTM. That's completely anti-productive to what I do as a racer. It makes no sense for me to do that. I'm trying to perform as best as I possibly can. And if the KTM was slower, I would just cut my losses, sell it, and continue to race the Honda for the rest of the season. Number two, some people think that I'm obligated to say things because like KTM or Honda are paying me. Um, I would be very surprised if anyone from both KTM or Honda even know that I exist. They're certainly not giving me bikes or deals on bikes. They're not paying me. We've paid full retail for every single bike that I've ever owned. We've bought them all through Championship Power Sports Racing. So I have no affiliation with any of these brands. As much as I wish I did, I don't. So we pay full retail for these bikes. I'm under no obligation to say anything, anything positive or negative about either one. So I know people will still point fingers and say that I rigged this for some reason, but figured I would mention that just to try and get rid of some of those comments. Beyond that, I'm a big Honda lover. I want to see the Honda fastest. I wish I was the fastest on it because I love them. I think they look the coolest. They sound the coolest. All my favorite riders ride Honda. I wish that I was the fastest on the Honda, but after looking at the results from the past couple of days, that's just not the case. And as soon as I'm done racing professionally and having the absolute fastest lap time doesn't matter anymore, you can bet your butt I'm going to be back on a Honda. So anyways, now we can get into talking about the two different bikes. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Peace out. We'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall. Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all. Sometimes in my mind, I just sit here and I'm guessing. How can I find the answers? I don't even got the questions. Sometimes I'm at the peak and other times I'm about to fall. Sometimes I gotta wonder what I'm doing here at all. Sometimes in my mind, I just sit here and I'm guessing. How can I find the